you close the window. I don't like the smell of sandalwood. And the mosquitoes are coming in too. Don't fuss. Come along now. Don't be now like that. You might fall in and you know what happened to Francis I. You must be careful. Oh, another one of your historical illusions, my pet. I am tired of French history. I want to look. The boats in the sunshine are like specks on the water. But you can't see them. It's night time. There is no sun. But it's still casting shadows anyway. <laughs> Come along now, by frightening me. Come and sit down. Oh, but I wanted to look. I do so enjoy looking at the water. How can you, dear? Oh, it makes me feel too giddy. This house, this shop, this island. I shall never get you sweet. Water all around you, water under the windows, water as far as the eye can see. Six o'clock in the evening and it's dark already. Remember, it used to be different in the old days. It was still light at 9 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, at midnight. Mm, so it was. What a memory you've got. It's all changed now. You know it's changed. No, Semiramis, my pet, I don't. Well, perhaps the further we go, the deeper the rot. It's all on account of the earth, which never stops turning, turning, turning. Turning, turning, my love. You really are a great scholar. You are so clever. You could have been something in life. Much more than a quartermaster general. What good would that have done us? We shouldn't have had a better life. After all, I have a job to do. I'm a, I'm a, a quartermaster general since I'm a caretaker. <sighs> My angel child. Oh, I'm so tired of everything. Oh, you are more cheerful when you are looking at the water. Just to cheer us up, let's pretend as we did the other night. Oh, pretend yourself. It's your turn. No, 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 it's yours. No, it isn't. It is. It isn't. It is. Uh, drink your tea, Semiramis. Imitate everything. I don't like the months of the year. There's no other kind at the moment. Go on, just to please me. Oh. All right, then. This is February. You are so clever. You could have been something in life. Much more than a quartermaster general. I am a quartermaster general, a caretaker. Uh, tell me the story, you know? And then we arrive. What? Again? Look that one again, and then we arrived. It's so boring. Every evening, every evening, without exception throughout 75 years of married life, you may me tell the same story, we take the same people, the same months, always the same. Let's change the subject. It's your life so exciting. But you know it by heart. Yes. There was a path that 
little square. And in the middle, a village church. Where was that village? Do you remember? No, Pat. I forgot. I believe the place was called Paris. Paris? There must have been once because it fell into ruins. It was the city of light and 400,000 years ago. It faded right away. There's nothing left of it except for a song. A real song? That's fun. What is it? It's a lullaby. It's a parable. Paris. We'll always be Paris. No, you are so clever. You could have been something in life, much more than a thought of Master General. Here, all swept away under the bridge, under the great man of time. Swept away. And then we arrive. Oh, yes, so it's going to be a story. And then we She can't see me. There now. 
You see, you've nothing to worry about. My little general is a very clever boy. All the guests will be here this evening, and we mustn't let them see you like that. You haven't smashed everything. There's still some hope left. You'll tell them all about it. You are going to explain it all. You've got a message. You are always saying you are going to pass it on. You must live and fight for your message. I have a message. You're right. A mission. I must fight for it. I can give birth to a great idea. A message for all men. For all mankind. For all mankind, your message, my love. You're right. I'm not like other people. I have an ideal in life. I may be clever as you say. I'm quite talented, but things don't come easily to me. Uh, uh, I've carried out my duties as quartermaster general satisfactorily, proven myself equal to the task, came out of it quite honorably. That ought to be enough. No, no, not for you. You are not like other men. You are greater than they are. And yet, you'd have done much better if you got on well with everyone else like everyone else. But you quarreled with all your friends, with all the directors, and with your own brother. It wasn't my fault, Semiramis. You know what he said? What did he say? He said, My dear friends, I've caught a flea somewhere, and I've come to see you in the hope of losing it again. Everyone says that, my love. You shouldn't have taken any notice. But why? Why did you get upset with Carol? Was that his fault too? You will make me lose my temper, Semiramis. You my temper! No. So there. Of course it was his fault. He came along one evening and this is what he said. Best of luck, old kangaroo! I wish you every success and hope that you get what's coming to you. And he belonged like a horse! He meant well! He meant well, dear! I don't like that sort of joke. Oh dear, oh dear, you could have been a, a general in the Navy! Or a general factotum, or a general postmaster general. It was at the bottom of the bottom of the garden. There was a, there was a, what was there, my pet? This is your Paris, of course. At the end, at the end of the end of the city of Paris, what, 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 what? Um, old friend was what? Old friend was who? The place and the weather were perfect, too. Was the weather really so hot? What the place was like, I quite forgot. Forget it if it worries you. It's so far away, I can't. I can't bring it back. Where was it? Was what? What I, was you, where was it? Wherever it was, whatever it was, I find it so difficult to express myself, and I must tell everything too. It's your sacred duty. You haven't the right to keep the message for yourself. You are always saying you are going to pass it on. You must live and fight for your message. The whole universe is waiting just for it. Yes, yes, I'll do it. You've really decided. You must. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Drink your tea, Semiramis. Mm, I'm so proud that at last you've decided to speak to all the countries of Europe, to all the continents in the world. But I find it so difficult to express myself. Things don't come easily to me. 
Thing, once you begin, things come easily enough, like life and death. It's as we speak that we find our ideas, our words, ourselves too, and the gardens, the city. Perhaps everything comes back, and we are not orphans anymore. Shall you talk in myself? I have engaged a professional orator to speak in my name. See. So it's really true. I suppose you've invited everybody, all the important people and all the property owners? Yes, yes. All the land and the landed. Um, the shop stewards, the um, uh, boiler makers, the builder makers, the um, pen holders and the chromosomes? Yes, yes. And the postmen, the typists and the artists. Mm. Anyone who could be called a scientist or a property owner. And the bankers? I invited them. Uh, the proletarians, the parliamentarians, the reactionaries, the revolutionaries, the mental specialists and the mental patients. All of them, yes. All of them. Don't get so hungry, my love, but like all men of genius, you, you, you are so forgetful. This meeting is important. They must come this evening, all of them. Did they promise? Drink your tea, semiraz. <sighs> The Pope, the Pope in Jays, and the papers? Yes, I have invited them. All my life, I felt how suffocating. And now, they will know everything. Thanks to you and to the orator. The only people who have really understood me. I'm so proud of you. The meeting will soon be started. I believe that someone already. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody's at the door. I have a plan. You ought to have got it ready before. You have plenty of time. What a sight! I look all pissed up. You'd only got to iron it. Hurry up! You're keeping people waiting. Good morning, madam. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, be careful! Don't spoil your hat. You may take out your hat pin if you'll feel more comfortable. No, 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 no. No one will sit on it. Put your fur down there. Ma, what a pretty suit. A blouse in red, white, and blue. <gasps> you will really have some biscuits, won't you? No, but you are not fat. No, just plum. Do put your umbrella down. Would you like to come this way, please? Have you been having a good weather? Uh, you are not feeling too tired? A little, perhaps? <laughs> At the seaside. Yeah. <laughs> really must <most> come. <laughs> I'll bring you a chair. <laughs> Meanwhile, why don't you sit here? Um, oh, what a pretty fan! My husband gave me a similar one 73 years ago. I still have it. It was a birthday present. Oh, madam, the cost of living has always been very high. <laughs> yes, yes, it's time there was a change. My husband may be having something to do with it. He, he will tell you. Be quiet, Semiramis. There's no time to talk about it yet. Excuse me, madam, for rousing your curiosity. <laughs> no, 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 madam, please don't insist. <coughs> yes. 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 Oh, but no. Yes, yes, yes. By all means. You said it! Oh. We live a very retired life. No, 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 he's not a misanthropist, but my husband likes peace and quiet. We have wireless. I go fishing. And there's quite a, quite a regular ferry service. Yes, there are two boats every Sunday morning and one in the evening, not to speak about the private ones. When the weather's fine, 
there is a moon. He still carries out his duties as a quartermaster general. He does keep him busy, yes, I know, I know, I know. At his age, he could take a little rest. I shall have plenty of rest when I'm in my grave. Oh, don't say that, my love. My family, what's left of it and my husband, old friends, used to come to see us from time to time, ten years ago. In the winter. A good book, sitting by the stove. The memories of a lifetime. A simple life, but a full one. Two hours every day, he works at his message. <gasps> Somebody there, go quickly. Oh, oh, will you excuse me, madam? I shan't be a moment. <gasps> go and fetch some chairs. This is indeed an amazing honor for me. I was never expecting you. Although, uh, uh, and yet, well, I'm very happy to see you in my humble abode, such a distinguished hero. What a fine uniform, what pretty decorations. Who is he, my love? Well, can't you see it's the colonel? My wife, the colonel. So pleased to meet you. What a polite man. Anyone can see he's out of ordinary, really superior. This chair is for you. Yes, someone else is here. We are expecting a large number of guests. <laughs> yes, uh, he, he, he's a colonel um, uh, in the civil service gallery, an old friend of my husband. Uh, do take a seat. Uh, no, 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 no. Can't you see the colonel wants to sit next to the lady? Oh, I see. Oh, that, that's going much too far. Colonel, colonel. I really want to warn you that this lady's husband may be here at any moment. Gentlemen, well, I've told you, Mr. Colonel. I knew it. Why did you ask me then? To find out. Your, your cigarette, Colonel, not on the floor, please. Colonel, sir. <laughs> sir, excuse me, sir. <coughs> I have forgotten. The last war. Did you lose it or did you win? <laughs> oh, but my dear girl, you can't let him me treat you like this. That's going much too far. Listen to what he's saying now. Do something to stop him, my love. Colonel, once during a battle all by myself, I have accounted for 209. No, no, Colonel, Colonel, please, please. <gasps> my husband never tells a lie. I know we are very old, but we are very respectable people. If a man wants to be a proper hero, then he must have good manners too. I should have never thought it of you. I should have never thought it of him. We do have our self-respect, our personal dignity. I am not past the age where I can carry arms yet. Excuse me. I must open the door. Oh, I beg your pardon, madam. Oh, you have hurt yourself. Look at the dust. Oh, I'm so sorry. Go and bring a chair. Oh, excuse us for a moment, please. Why?
But how can you say that? And I've been thinking about you all my life. All my life. You are known as the lovely Miss. So this is your husband. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, I never knew about this, of course. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but you haven't changed at all. <laughs> yes. Yes, perhaps your nose has got a little bit longer. It's filled out too. Oh, I didn't notice it at first, but now that you tell me, oh yes. <laughs> oh, terribly long. <laughs> but you didn't do it on purpose. How did it happen then? <laughs> ah, I see, very gradually, yes, yes, I see. Well, congratulations, sir. You seem to be uh, very much in love. Um, Semiramis? Two people have arrived, so we need another chair. Oh, do please come in and be introduced to the other guests. <laughs> oh. oh, lovely, lovely, Miss Lovely. You are nearly bent double now. What is this, sir? A present? Ha! For my wife. Ha! I see. Semiramis. This is the lovely, you know. <laughs> I've often told you about her and her husband. Ha! just brought you a present. Oh dear, thank you. Oh, it's a, it's a flower, or, or a cradle, or a pear tree, or a pheasant? No, 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 no. Can't you see it's a picture? Oh, I see. It's delightful. Thank you, thank you. Oh, doctor, doctor, I often feel sick, feel hot all over, get cold feet, and cold in the head has pains and chillblains. And we run my heart, oh doctor, doctor! This gentleman is not a doctor, he's a photographer. I don't mind. He's a charming man anyway. It's quite devastating. <gasps> so it's really you. After all, I was in love with you a hundred years ago. There's been such a great change in you. There's been no change in you at all. I was in love with you then. I love you now. Really? Really, 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 sir? Where are the snows of yesteryear? Really, 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 sir? Oh, a young lady of our acquaintance. A very sweet girl. Yes, he's, he's, a, he's a colonel in the civil service cavalry. An old friend of my husband. A subordinate. My husband's a general. Your ears weren't always so pointed. Do you remember, my lovely? I'm too old for that now. You don't think so? When we were young, the moon was a living planet. Can we go back now? No, no, no. Time has raced past us like a train. Do you think plastic surgery can work in your cause? <laughs> you, you really think I look good for my age? You are a dashing little devil. May I play Tristan to your resort? Beauty lies in the heart. You see, we could have had our own share of bliss, beauty, and eternity. Eternity? Why didn't we dare? We didn't want it enough. 
Now everything is lost to us, lost, lost, lost! Ooh, la, la. It's a wretched life, a quartermaster generals! How do you make a crepe du chine? A nail and off with an hour of flour and some ghostly juicy hair! Oh, my people! My worthy spouse, Semiramis, has taken the place of my mother. You really, really believe you can have children of any age? Children of any age? That's exactly what saved me. The inner life, austerity, my scientific research. No, no, no! I've never been unfaithful to my husband, the general. For me, the branch of the apple tree is broken. You must ask someone else to show you the way. I don't want to gather life's roses. Preoccupations of a nobler kind. No, no, sit down, please, sit down. Sit down, please, sit down. a very long time ago. We had a heart of gold. We called after him, my son, my child. And he never looked around. No. No. I am sorry to say we have never had any children. I would have liked a son. <laughs> so would Semiramis. We did what we could. Poor Semiramis. You used to She's say... such a motherly woman. You kill the birds. Why do you kill the birds? We don't kill birds. We never had the fly. His eyes were full of tears. He wouldn't let us wipe them away. The streets are full of birds you kill and little children are dying. No, my child, can't you hear the birds singing? No, I can hear them moaning and groaning. And again, again, and the sky, the sky is, is red with blood. No, no, no! The sky is blue! And again he would cry, Daddy, mommy! I shall never see you again. I threw myself at his feet. His father was weeping, but we couldn't, we couldn't hold him back. I left my mother to die all alone in a ditch. She called after me crying feebly, my little child, my beloved son, please don't leave me here to die all alone. Don't worry, mother, I said, I'll soon be back. I was in a hurry, I was going to a dance. When I came back, she was dead and very deep underground. I started digging to try and find her, but I couldn't. I know. I know. It always happens. Sons leaving their mothers and as good as killing their fathers. Life is like that. Daddy, mommy, I shall never see you again. But it tortures me. The, the others don't mind. Don't, don't talk to my husband about him. He was so fond of his parents. He looked after them, spoiled them even. They died in his arms. And these were their last words. You have been a wonderful son to us. God, God will be kind to you. I can still see my mother lying in that ditch. And in her hand, there was a lily of the valley. And she cried after me. Remember me. Remember me. 
her eyes were full of tears. And she called me by the nickname I had as a child. My little chick, she said, my little chick, don't leave me here to die all alone. Well, a friend of ours has seen him and said that he's well and he's made a good husband. Well, when you come to think of it, that's all it really is. So long as... So I didn't, uh, told him, naturally. <laughs> mm. To our and to theirs. <laughs> to what? I to him. <laughs> him or her? Them. Peppermint, you don't say. There aren't. <sighs> yes. I? Well. Well. I beg pardon, madam. They're coming. People. More people! Stand up for a moment! The orator should be coming soon! I must get to the room ready for the lecture! Would you mind helping me, please? Please excuse me, ladies and gentlemen! Gentlemen, would you kindly come in? Please, please! My wife, Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Mr. Mrs. Mr. Mrs. My wife. Go and fetch some chairs. Uh, you don't all know each other, do you? Semiramis, help me to introduce everyone. Mr. Mrs. Mr. Mrs. Oh! The colonel, the lady, Miss Lovely, the photographer. Here are the journalists. But They've come to listen to the lecture too. But who are they, my love? I'll tell you later. Uh, um, oh, people! 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 Come in, 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 come in. Help me, help me introduce everyone. Mr. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Mrs. Mr. Mr. Mrs. Mr. Mr. Miss Miss Lovely, Miss Oh, people! Oh, people! But who are they, my love? Oh, quickly, quickly, go and fetch some chairs! Oh, machine! Gentlemen, come in, ladies, come in! Come in, come in!
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I am very sorry to announce that now it's standing room only. All of those who have no seats should not stand in front of the others, but should line up along the walls there on the right and on the left hand side. Don't push so, don't push, don't push, don't push. Don't push so, don't push! Don't push, no, 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 no! Don't push! Don't, don't push, ladies! Don't push, gentlemen! Oh, 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 don't push! Don't get excited! There's no hurry, there's no hurry! Anyone who thinks you are a lot of savages! Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear your voice. And you? 